Here is how to set up your microphone and record inside of FL Studio. This is pretty much universal for every piece of equipment, but the equipment I am using is the Focusrite Scarlett interface and the Rode NT1A. This is quite a different video to what I normally do. I normally delve into the actual production, but I do realize that some people wanting to record don't know how to do it inside of FL Studio. So we're gonna go through it. First things first, you wanna make sure you have the drivers for your interface. If you have a USB mic, this will be different, but I'll cover that in a second. Whatever interface you have, you want to look up that model on the internet and find drivers for it. If you don't have like the paper that comes with it that tells you how to do it, you need the drivers to actually make it work. As soon as that's done, you want to head over to FL Studio and you want to make sure that your input output is set. You want to make sure you're using the correct driver for your interface. Now I'm going to break the fourth wall a little bit here and I'm going to take you down to my interface just to show you. So here we are at the interface and it has two sections here. So this is input one and this is input two. In this specific one, input two is made for things like instruments as it is a jack cable and this is an XLR cable. So you want to make sure your microphone's plugged in to the XLR section. Now if you have a condenser microphone, you want to make sure that 48 volts is turned on. Now this will be your gain and we can configure your gain later but just put it up to something so it at least works. Now you want to hook that up into your actual microphone. So now it is in the microphone and it's, it's already been in the microphone the whole time because that's how I record the audio. Um, <laughs> but yeah, once it's in, you should see the light flashing on your interface. Even though nothing's even though nothing's being recorded or whatever, it will pick up a gain. If it doesn't, um oh no. If it doesn't, you can try different XLR cables. Try unplugging, replugging. Make sure the drivers are installed correctly. Okay, so now we've got a microphone plugged in and working. What you can do is grab your headphones. Make sure you don't have any speakers on as well, because once we set this up, it will start picking up the audio from the microphone, then play it back out of the audio output. And if your speakers are turned on, it will play out your speakers back through your microphone, out of the speakers in a loop till it goes really high pitch and everything blows up and you die. Now to check if our microphone's working, grab a pair of headphones, preferably ones that aren't taped up. You want to hit the direct monitor button on your interface. Every interface has a monitoring button probably and you want to make sure your gain in the microphone's up and the gain in your actual sound is up. So I'll show you what I mean just to avoid confusion. You want to make sure this is turned up as well. So we have direct monitoring on here. What this does is it plays back whatever inputs are being into the interface. So we have our microphone inputting into the interface. So now I can hear it through my headphones. Now you might not always want this on. So you can just turn it off. But just to make sure our microphone's working it is a good practice to do that. So now we've got the microphone working. We've got the drivers. We've got everything we need. We're going to head inside of FL Studio. Now, this is the song that I want to record. How do we actually get it done? Find a free track here. And we're going to make this the recording. Track. Now you want to right click track mode audio track and put it to a free mixer track. So we've put it into 30. So set this to um, recording. Now if we go to our mixer track, you can see actually here it says recording as well. Brilliant. Now we actually want it to pick up our microphone. So like I said before, there is two inputs. If you're recording two things at the same time, click input one and two. This means it'll pick up your microphone and whatever instrument or whatever is plugged into the second one. As we're only recording our microphone, you want to click input one. And yeah, you want to click yes because um, you don't want to record stuff from here. So click yes. Input one, you should be able to hear yourself and it should be relatively on point. If not, you can change the buffer length here. But bearing in mind, the lower the buffer length, the less quality. So if I put this to 16, it's literally instant as I say it. But you'll notice in the recording, there'll be a little crackles and pops. So I would recommend keep it around 96 or 28. I usually have it on 128 because it's not that bad. I usually put my vocals down a little bit. So you can still rap on a beat or sing on a beat or whatever. And there's a couple things you should make sure first. You want to record. You want to make sure it says external inputs only. Because what will happen is I add an effect on here. Let's say I wanted to record my song with this EQ. And you unfortunately can't hear it. So let me just... Okay. So it will be delayed for me, but it should be fine for you. So let's say I wanted to record with this EQ on it. I had it to post effect. Now when we record the microphone, which by the way, if you shift click the record button, it should pull up this. Unless, it, it, if you've disabled this popping up, shift click on the record, and then we're going to click audio into the playlist as an audio clip. Yo, I'm a real rapper, never capper. So... Now we've got that. You're gonna hear that when we remove this EQ and then play it. Yo, I'm a real rapper, 
Never capper. Which is not quite ideal, so we want to keep it on external input only. This means that when we're recording, we can record with certain effects on it. So let's say we wanted a dramatic reverb. Never do this, but yeah. So now we're going to do the same thing again. Yo, 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 I'm a real rapper, spitting the ample, I'm off the top to the sample, the boom, 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 boom. Okay, so we got that awesome rap. Now, now I've decided I don't, I don't want the reverb, I just want the EQ. So, so now, now we're gonna play it. Yo, yo, I'm a real rapper, spitting the ample, I'm off the top to the sample, the boom, 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 boom. It can be quite good to record with a little bit of effects on your vocals just to get an idea of what it will sound like in the final process. But bearing in mind, the more things that you add, the more demanding the vocal recording is, which means the more delay that will be played when you try and play it back while you're singing, rapping, whatever. Now, let's say you're using a USB microphone. So we've got this USB microphone here. So you need a MIDI cable. It looks like this. And the other side is just a regular USB. And you plug it in. I've got this microphone plugged in right now. Uh, I've unplugged this one, so it's just this one. It's literally the exact same process, um, but the drivers that you use must be like FL Studio drivers, and there will be quite a lot of delay. The low U56, so it's not that bad. I have the time to check the sample. As you could probably guess, the uh, quality of this recording is not the greatest. Keep the amp. I have the time to check the sample. But yeah, it's just to show you that the process is the exact same, except for you don't need extra drivers. Although I would recommend, if you do have the money to spare, investing in a interface like at the Focusrite. I've got the Rode NT1A microphone here, and it's perfect for everything, for my videos, for my songs, for artists, for rappers, for singers. I hope this video helped you. If you've got any questions, leave them below, and I'll be happy to help. So I hope this video helps. If this was the kind of video you were looking for, subscribe and like. And if you want to expand your production skills, I've got many videos videos on exactly that. Hope you enjoyed this content and I will see you in the next one. Peace.